right now, we're orbiting Earth. Out there, 55 million light years away, is one of the most massive black holes ever discovered. A monster six and a half billion times the mass of our sun. That galaxy there, Messier 87. At its center sits a black hole with an event horizon so large it could swallow our entire solar system. In 2019, this became the first black hole humanity ever photographed. That famous orange ring you might have seen, this is where it came from. Today we're crossing 55 million light years to see it up close. We're now traveling through the Milky Way. The galaxy at our destination was discovered over 200 years ago. In 1781, Charles Messier spotted a small fuzzy patch of light and cataloged it as number 87 in his list. He had no idea what it actually was. For over a century, astronomers thought it was just a cloud of gas inside our own galaxy. But in the 1920s, they realized the truth. It was another galaxy entirely, millions of light years beyond the Milky Way. Then something strange showed up in photographs. A bright jet shooting out from the galaxy's center, thousands of light years long. Astronomer Heber Curtis first noticed it in 1918, but no one could explain what was causing it. By the 1970s, scientists measured extreme speeds in M87's central region. Stars there were moving so fast that something with several billion times the mass of our sun had to be holding them in place, completely invisible at the center. A supermassive black hole. The stars around us are becoming fewer now. We're leaving the Milky Way. Ahead is the Virgo Cluster, a collection of over a thousand galaxies bound together by gravity. M87 is the largest among them. There's our home galaxy, the Milky Way. We're not actually part of the Virgo Cluster. Our local group of galaxies sits on the outskirts, slowly being pulled toward it by gravity. The Virgo Cluster is one of the closest major galaxy clusters to Earth spanning roughly 15 million light years across. M87 sits at the heart of it. It's a giant elliptical galaxy, completely different from our spiral Milky Way. Instead of a flat disk with spiral arms, M87 is shaped like a giant ball of stars. Galaxies are appearing all around us now. Spiral galaxies, elliptical galaxies, dwarf galaxies, each one a system of billions of stars. The space between them isn't empty. It's filled with extremely hot gas, tens of millions of degrees observed by X-ray telescopes. M87 contains over a trillion stars, several times more than the Milky Way. It's surrounded by roughly 15,000 globular clusters ancient groups of stars that orbit the galaxy like satellites. Our Milky Way has only about 150. This galaxy didn't form alone. Over billions of years, it likely consumed dozens of smaller galaxies, growing into the monster it is today. We're approaching the galaxy now. Messier 87. The center glows bright, packed with billions of old stars. Toward the edges, the light fades as the stars thin out, spreading into a faint halo. Somewhere in that bright core, a jet blasts out at 99% the speed of light, extending 5,000 light years into space. The power to create something like that comes from one source a supermassive black hole feeding on everything around it. In April 2019, 
over 200 scientists from around the world worked together to photograph that black hole. Eight radio telescopes synchronized across the entire planet, acting as one Earth-sized telescope. They recorded about five petabytes of data, so much that it was faster to fly the hard drives on airplanes than to send it over the internet. Two years of processing that data, and they finally had it. The first image of a black hole. That's what we're about to see. We're now traveling through the galaxy itself, passing billions of stars as we head toward the center. The closer we get, the brighter it becomes. Stars are packed more and more densely together, their combined light flooding the region around the black hole. This black hole is active, feeding on gas and dust from the surrounding galaxy. As that matter spirals inward, it heats up to billions of degrees, creating the glow we see around the black hole. But here's the strange thing about the image the scientists captured. That famous orange ring isn't actually orange. The Event Horizon Telescope observes radio waves, not visible light. The orange color was added later to help our eyes see the structure. The black hole also has a Hawaiian name, Pauahi, meaning the adorned, fathomless, dark creation. It was given by a Hawaiian language professor after the discovery, honoring the two telescopes in Hawaii that helped capture the image. This black hole is enormous, but it's not the largest ever found. A black hole called Ton 618, seen as it was over 10 billion years ago, weighs about 10 times more. M87 star was the first black hole ever photographed directly. In 2022, scientists also captured an image of Sagittarius A star, the black hole at the center of our own Milky Way. After crossing 55 million light years, we've reached it. M87 star. The fact that humans could photograph something this far away seemed impossible just decades ago. At the center is the event horizon, the point of no return where nothing can escape, not even light. It's about 40 billion kilometers across. If you place this black hole where our sun is, the event horizon alone would stretch well beyond Pluto's orbit. The bright ring around it is gas orbiting at relativistic speeds, a significant fraction of the speed of light. This gas completes one full orbit every few days to weeks. If you could somehow get close to the event horizon, time itself would slow down dramatically. Time would pass far more slowly for you than for anyone watching from a distance. And because this black hole is so enormous, something strange happens. The tidal forces at the horizon are actually gentler than they would be for a smaller black hole. You could theoretically cross it without being immediately torn apart. Of course, you'd still be doomed, falling forever toward the center with no way to escape. The Event Horizon Telescope is being upgraded with more telescopes and better technology. The goal is to capture not just images, but movies of black holes. To watch the gas swirl in orbit, to see how the structure changes. We might soon watch a black hole feed. This is what humanity achieved. From Earth, 55 million light years away, we captured an image of a black hole's edge, a region where space and time begin to lose their meaning. The first black hole we ever photographed, 